Hello there and welcome to Wimwill Poseidon's Home Alpha 9 Episode 10. So right at the back end of the previous episode we got a raider attack. In fact these are pirates from the wild cutters and they are nearby so let's see who they are and how many there are. There are three of them okay we got three and they'll take the personal shields we have a silver mace a plasteel gladius and a plasteel knife okay so this should be easy enough to take out with our rifles because we've got uh, a sword with our stabs we got long range rifle long range rifle long range rifle so because these guys have got uh, personal shields so let's get body armor so Alyssa get to recruit uh, everyone wake up I just get you all awake, make sure you're all in the right places because these guys are actually quite a distance off, we'll let them get a bit closer da -da 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 -da. we'll start uh, mess messing our people around here oh they're uh, they're going to pair for a while, that's a good job I didn't actually do anything then so everybody get up, see to your needs good. really see to your needs and then the attack, okay so wait to get to about here Okay, now, because Alex has been an idiot and he has a sword so he can stay where he is. Corey, recruit. Uh, you can make a run for that helmet. Alyssa, make a run for that helmet. And Aiden, guess what? Armored vest. Go. Wow, Corey is slow actually. Uh... Okay, Corey's never going to make it, so Corey, go there. Aiden, go and grab that one. You're faster. Corey is... Yeah, he's not going to make it, so Corey can just go straight to this point. Alex is going to activate, since he's took too long to eat his meal, and go stand there. And... Yeah, okay. I get this. We're not going to be able to get to his stuff, so... Alyssa, draft there. Aiden, draft there. Corey, just stand where you are. Alex is going to be the uh, primary person who gets attacked. And, oop. Alex, run. Your job is just to draw them in, basically. Corey, go. Alyssa, go. Da -da. Shield down, shield down. Right, now, do your job. Immediately attack this person. Okay, that's the one making a run for it. Uh, yeah. You attack him, and if you could actually help, because we've got a problem here. This guy needs to be attacked as soon as possible. He's getting away. Come on, come on, come on. Right, Alex, you're not going to do it, so you can actually go that way. Get him! It shields down. It's down! Okay, we have a person down. That means we have a prisoner. We really did pretty bad. We sh I really should have got them to put the armor on as soon as they, uh, they arrived, but I messed up. Alright, Alex, could you go and heal yourself? Because you took a bit of injury. You have a, a knife. It's nothing major, but you have got poor moving. Now, I did notice that, and I also noticed that on uh, Cory over here, you also have poor moving. So, why have you got. Paw moving. Ah, peg leg. Fair enough. I really shouldn't. We need to look at these legs and stuff. And we need to just replace them with uh, newer stuff as soon as we can. But we have a prisoner who has a right leg shot off. So we have to choose between basically selling them, rescuing them and recruiting them, or rescuing them and releasing them. Uh, let's say, first of all, how good are they? Wow, that is really bad. Really, pretty much everything. The only thing you can do is fight. Wow. I mean, you're a great fighter, but. Wow, just no. Okay, well, looks like uh, Aiden's going to recapture you, and we'll be deal with that. Okay, Aiden's not going to capture you because we actually have Philip still. Philip, what were we doing with you? Prisoner, 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 prisoner. We're not recruiting you, and your health says you're like shot off, so we're probably doing the same thing with you. So, uh, um, well, very first thing, strip him. He's got 
a helmet, which I could utilize. And uh, we will actually capture him. Uh, prisoner bed. And we'll, we'll just see again if we can find somewhere to put him permanently. Alex is going to get... Oh, Alex, before you do that, could you take that to helmet off the guy? Thank you. Ooh, personal shield. 37%. Uh, 37% with 86% grid. And yours is... Uh, gear. Yours is 82% with a 73%. Okay, so... 11% recharge rate and 13%. Okay, that one's actually better than yours. So I'm going to ask you, can you wear that personal shield? I know it's not the best personal shield in the world, but, uh, you know, I'd like you to wear it anyway. If you could just put those somewhere useful so we don't lose them. Great. And Alyssa's ending up feeding. Great. Uh, I would much appreciate it if you could actually... Uh, ooh, what's that one? 90% and 11. Ooh. Uh, let's just unflag all. Un. Forbid all of this stuff. Get it all ready for hauling. Get it all in there. And we'll see what our new weapons that we've got around can give us. Oh, that's a personal shield. What's that noise? What? Just. No, personal shield powering up. Uh, da, 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 da. Actually, let's check the weapons. Uh, Alex. You. I want gear a carrying a steel longsword with 12 and 2.5. So let's see what we've got. We've got a silver mace, 11 and 210. Nope. We have a plasteel gladius, 14 and 1.5. Whoa, 14 and 1.5. Alex, feed Philip, and then I got a, I got a new weapon for you. It's a lot better than your weapon. There we go. And we can get on with stuff. I mean, we've got the room for a helmet here, and we've got another spare helmet there. So great, we've got two rooms for helmets. We just need to. We're done, I think. Pretty good. We've. Oh yeah, that's a test one. I wonder why that was wrong. It's been a couple of days since I recorded these, and yeah, that uh, that's a test run. Everybody is getting back on with their daily duties. Great, keeping the uh, refrigerator nice and cool. Everything is working out pretty good at the moment. Can we deal with the bodies? We cannot deal with the bodies. Okay, do we have a crematorium up and running? We do not have the crematorium up and running. Well, in that case, we're going to need another grave row. And there we go. Build me some more graves because we have a body to get rid of. Ugh. Uh, anyone? Alyssa, are you actually injured? Just a bruise. Okay, okay, just a bruise. Well, if someone could go up there and uh, do that for us, it would be amazingly good. Ooh, we got some new stuff. We have a bulk trader and we have some visitors. Okay, bulk trader. Quick question. Who's our warden today? Four, one, and zero. Okay, it looks like it's going to be Alex, which just turns out to be really good. But he's actually up here feeding Alyssa. So could you give them a call? What are we trading with today then? Well, they have beer. Now, I think it's a good idea. We, don't, we haven't actually got the brewing up and running yet, so we can actually buy some. So I'm just going to buy four, because there's four colonists. That's only fair. And let's see, what can we sell? We've got cloth, but we want that. Devil Strand, a grand skin. Ooh, a grand skin can go. We're not going to make anything with that. Uh, really, you're going to sell them? Who in the right mind will buy them? Oh, it's plus somebody who's starving, I suppose. And really, not really anything we care about. So we're pretty good to just ignore you for now. So send us the beer. There we go. Now, because we've had the recent events, it's only fair that each person gets told, have a beer. So everybody, it's the consumer beer, apart from Corey, who is just up there and is now going to consume beer. That's great. Each person will consume one beer and they can be nice and happy. And there they go. So they should all have a alcohol warm. Yeah, that, that basically bumps up there. Let me see what thoughts. It makes them a little happier. There we go. I mean, you're, you're wearing frayed apparel. So what are you wearing that's frayed? Uh, cloth pants. So we got any decent cloth pants for Cory? Uh, 3%. 99%. Cory! Go wear them, they're not frayed. 
Hello visitors, how are you doing today? Do, 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 do. Okay, what's our medicine like? 12. Okay, I think it's about time we put the peg legs on and release both of you two, because quite frankly you're annoying me. But take a follow our foods. So right leg, operation, install, right leg, prisoner, release. And you, what do you have? Health. Uh, right leg, again, another right leg. Hmm. Operation, install, right leg, prisoner, release. Go. I mean, yeah, it's medicine and medicine's valuable. Oh, we can use herbal medicine for surgeries now. Interesting. Did not know that. Well, in that case, I'm going to expand that zone. Uh, growing zone. There we go. Didn't know that uh, we could use herbal medicine for surgeries now. That is very interesting. And you should oop, be able to... Yeah, you've got peg leg. You can be got rid of soon. It's... Uh, I mean, you're artistic and you can social melee, but you just, you just can't do stuff. And I need you around. You're depressive as well, which is, yeah. So, yeah, I don't want you around. You people, you're, uh, you're hurting the calm, shall we say. <laughs> Ooh. Right. Uh, this bedroom will be for... Who's this one for? Corey. So, next one, Corey, will be Aiden. Aiden, you get the room next to him. Uh, set one, uh, Aiden. We can see if that one gives you the uh, buff for being a spacious environment as well, and then we know how big to make the rooms. Da -da 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 -din -din. Yeah, feed the guy who was just getting chucked out anyway. Uh, could somebody please award on this person? Thank you. And he's still going to have an anaesthetic, so good. Go home. Let's see what happens when you leave the area. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Din, din, din. Alex, could you... no. Get Aiden? Are you still uh, anaesthetic? Anaesthetized? Uh, yes you are, okay. Well, the pirate's gone. Anyway, I didn't see the message if there was one. Oh, he's up. Uh, Alex. Go kick him out. Go, 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 go. And away with you. That should uh, deal with it. And wait, 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 here we go. Right, now you have a fort of a spacious interior. Uh, what about you? Do you have it? A bit let him be in there for a little while. We'll just see if he does. We'll keep an eye on that a little as well as he leaves. And we'll know the answer. Okay. Ah, didn't see it. Come back in there. Okay, he does get it, but only short term, which is interesting. Hmm. Well, we'll play safe, and we'll say structure. Uh, what we're we using here, we're using sandstone. We'll expand that room, and we'll uh, knock that bit off. We'll have to. We'll just play safe and say yes. We'll do the, the square. And we have so da, 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 passing by. Go. Right. So we're building. We're expanding. We're, go away. We're expanding and going and doing stuff. Uh. We have herbal medicine growing, and we just need someone to plant some new stuff. Good, there we go, new stuff being planted. We have corn, which has, well, a ridiculous amount of uh, lifetime in the sun. And our food supply is actually quite healthy. We have more cotton here. We have our tailor's bench. We have people doing basically everything we need them to do. We just need more people. Ugh. People. We need more people. People, anybody? Uh, do, 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 do. Passing by. More people passing by. Could someone join? Or at least a slave trader or something. We have money and stuffs. We just need things. <laughs> okay. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Give us that bit of walling. Because Aiden here is not seeing the Frit apparel. You got no Frit apparel? What are you wearing? 42% on. I uh, can wait. You can deal with it later on. Right. So we've got the room. We've got, we know. Done. I'm going to do these in blocks of three, I think it's probably the best option here. So the next one's going to be out this way. It'll be... Cory is hunting. Okay, I wonder what happened in there. We need to go out seven places. Which gives us a internal diameter of five. Which gives us that. And then a... Two high. Two high corridor. Like that. And then we'll be putting a door. No, not steel. We have a lot of standstone. Uh, there, and we're putting the other door. 
I'm going to say there. But I'm going to put it there instead. Uh, there and probably another one this side thing, get out and round. Or should we just put the. No, I'm going to go top centre. Two doors. And we'll deal with cooling and stuff later. Uh, that's a bit more meat for the cooker. So we're going to. There we go. And meat. Meat, 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 meat. Seven pieces of meat plus five. Okay. Da, 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 da. Um, helmet, helmet, helmet. I hope we had an extra helmet for down here. Okay, probably wasn't an helmet then. That's uh, that's took. Okay, fair enough. I'll uh, let you go on that one. Oh, someone's doing researching. Alex is going to research, and we have. Oh, someone's joining the colony. We have a visitor who has joined the colony. Now, first of all, let's see. How good are you? Because quite frankly, everybody else has been here before now as being pretty crap. And you are good. I mean, you're volatile, meaning you are 15 times more, 15 times, 15 times more likely to mental break on this. Ouch. That was false ones, but we have a green form and really good stats. And quite frankly, I'm, I'm willing to accept that. Let's just look at your thoughts. Wow, look how high that is. Wow. <laughs> Let's just compare that to say Alex, who's there and there, and Alyssa right down there. And so these are the low and high points. And then we get you way up there. Wow, your minimum breaking threshold is actually higher than our other guys' main stuff. All right, what do you bring with you? You brought us an armored vest, which, quite frankly, we again we don't want the armored vests to be worn. They're there to be uh, stored for use later. But, you're welcome, you're here. You are carrying a bronze shift, which for now I'll leave you with, but we need to get you some clothing, because apparently you're not wearing any. So, let's just get you over here, wear a shirt, get you dressed, and then we'll give you a name, new colonist. Okay, so you can now wearing a cloth shirt. Uh, oh God, I can't see percentages, can I? That one, yay, you wear them. They're 100%. Uh, got a, does the jacket? Well, it's bad anyway. You think you just complain about it? Uh, da, 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 any of the? There you go. That's that one. Yeah, that's a good percentage on it. Wear that. And then we're going to need a cowboy hat. So let's see. Don't think we have any. Oh no, we do. And it's one hundred percent as well. Go wear a cowboy hat before you get too hot. You're already hot, but before you get too hot. And there you go. You are now wearing all the appropriate clothing. We just need to figure out what's your character. Shooting three, but you. Your melee's three and shooting three, so we might as well give you a gun. We got, a, we already have somebody who can do that. So, what's the best? Seventy-two percent, eighty-eight percent, ninety-five percent. We have a winner with ninety-five percent. There we go. Right. So, what did you bring with you anyway? A bronze shiv with five and one point six. Now, I'm happy with the uh, the guy who's got stuff. Is it? Got it. I always forget who's got it. It'll be Alex, I bet, because the last one I haven't picked. Ah, there we are. You're actually carrying right now, you're carrying the Plasteel Gladius, which gives us 14 and 1.5. The ships seem to be faster, but the damage just isn't as good on that. Might, if you can see, like a Plasteel one would be useful. Ah, could you uh, remove that armour? Again, we don't want the armour decaying over time, so... I'm going to put the armour over things over here as well, so that'll be good. And it's straight into construction. Good on you, good on you. We'll, uh, ooh. Uh, so very first thing we do is we find a name for you. Oop. So character, name, and let's look at the random number generator. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so you will be Capri. S T Y L, steel style. Capri. Welcome to the colony, Capri! Yeah, welcome to the colony. Let's look at your uh, capabilities. So, obviously, firefighting, patienting. Uh, yeah, I want, actually, can you be up there? Because you actually you want me to do that as your first priorities. Good point, put them at two. Controlling at one. Everyone should have that at one, apart from Doctor, because obviously you won't need to do that. Uh, great, we can turn these down to off, actually. Because we've got somebody here who's actually good at it. Okay, so we've got somebody who's actually good at warding. We might be able to convince people in the future. Still can't cook. 
Uh, hunting still something we turn off by default because people get themselves injured. Uh, Cory is a hunter, but Cory, 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 Cory. All right, no, I keep getting Cory and Alex mixed up when it comes to the uh, weapon they're carrying. Um, construction, wow, yeah, good. Two, number three and two. Uh, growing, definitely a two on that. Uh, mining, definitely a three. Yeah, construction. Uh, plant cutting four, crafting. You're a three, okay. So we're gonna put it like that. Three and three, and you don't do whole research very well now. Okay, so we'll leave your stats like that. And two, I want plant cutting done pretty quickly if needed. Uh, and nobody's still any good at art. So that's still gonna that's gonna get us in Atlanta. But welcome, Capri. We are good. Everybody is back to full power now. Uh, could really do with a bed in this room, actually. Uh, furniture, a wooden bed, and this one can go on that wall. No, I'm gonna put this one up here behind the door. Nice little uh, dun dun dun, little, little gradient going up. And that should be all the three, well, not all the room, the three main rooms done. And we can uh, expand these ones later on. Because, like I say, we've got prisoner cells up here. They're going to be expanded a little bit because they need to be bigger. And this one, we're going to need cooling here as well because look, it's getting hot. So, actually, I'm going to say that one there can we cancel that. And we'll put a cooler. Whoa, a geothermal heater. Check that out in a second. Cooler there. And we're going to need to run power to it. Uh, so power can come down here, through the wall, that should do it just fine. Right, nope, let's have a look at our temperature. We have a geothermal heater here. Uh, industrial geothermal heater collects and controls heat from steam geysers. It is self-balanced and can heat up a large internal area, which literally suck on a steam geyser. Uh, doesn't really tell us anything about it, other than it's expensive. So I'm guessing it's like a cap, so the geysers are getting out of control, maybe? But have we got anything else new I didn't realise? Steel plant port. No, not there. No. That, look, we've got the mine on the end, but I haven't uh, got around to building that. we got the crematorium. We can build that sooner rather than later. It's actually going to be good. And everything else seems to be normal stuff. So, one thing caught me out, but that's about it. Research is nearly done as well. Great. Could somebody build this, please? Thank you. Research is done. We can make beer. We can brew, people. We can brew. Okay, what we're going to do next? Let's have a look. We'll go with these two new ones. We haven't tried these before, so what we've got here. After electrocuting himself while trying to repair a short circuited battery under, his, under rain, one of your colonists had the idea to develop an electronic protection module. Develop some electronic components to produce integrated circuits. Okay, it doesn't really say what it gives you though. An energy pack. Uh, develop the energy pack in use of mobile devices. Ooh, mobile devices! Always mobile devices. And, could. No, just before you do. I just would like that working. It'd be nice. It'd be great. You can go up and do them. And that one. No. I want you to work on that, because I want to get this aircon up and running because the temperature outside during the nights is okay, but during the day they're a bit warm and I'd like to get the bedrooms up to a decent temperature so you don't have that debuff. Okay, immediately first thing I notice right now, shadow and shadow. We have an attack. It is... Mechanoids. We have mechanoids attacking us right now. Okay, this is a problem for us. We need to immediately react to it. We have two people awake. Two people asleep, and one person who is AFK. Where are... Oh, yeah, there. That's great. We actually have them surrounded. We can get you two to defensive positions. You two to these ones, and you can come around there. We've got them pretty much surrounded for the not be able to retreat. Hopefully, they're not going to be able to get us. But that will be in the next episode. So come back next episode to see how we deal with them. So as usual, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll uh, see you next time. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing.
Thank you.